Hi, guys. I was uh, did something last Monday that I've not done before. I went on Crafty Lori's uh, Wish, Let the Wishing Begin. I had never done it before, and I thought I might as well give it a try. So I was lucky enough to have one of my wishes granted, and I was also lucky enough to find another person's wish that I could grant. So I did both. And uh, Miss Barbara Brown sent me some 6x6 paper, paper pads. And so I wanted to come on here and show you a little bit of what she sent me. So here we go. The first one is called, uh, it's Maggie Holmes. And it's crepe paper, open book. And so here we go. I'm going to show you a few pages in it. We don't have to see the whole book, but you know enough that you can get the drift. Look at this one. Everybody would be wanting this one. We got some. Let me see. Let me find some unusual. Oh, that one. Look at the at the glasses. Isn't that awesome? I know. That's what I thought too. Some cool strips that you can cut out or use as the as the page. Find another one that I thought. I love pages like this. <clears throat> Absolutely love them. They're not always functional for, you know, what we're going to use them for, but I just love them. They're old and vintage, and I can just, I try to read what's on them. It's not always easy. Look at this. It's a target. <laughs> what is that one? Not sure what that is. It looks, I think it's real errors, like bow and arrow errors, not the kind that we've been seeing. And then we've got um, this page. You can read any of that stuff. And then this one. Isn't that pretty? Okay. And we go on to the next one now. And the next one is here and there. Uh, Studio Calico patterned papers so you can get a view of what kind of papers are in this one that's pretty much what you get I've looked through it and that's exactly what the papers look like so I'm not going to flip through that one because that one has an easy viewing on the front and the next one is Martha Stewart Crafts and it doesn't have a name but it looks like Valentine's Day uh, to me. These are the patterns. Uh, this one is adorable. So is the one with the little trees. Um, love, love, love the trees. Look, it's got red. I don't know how many pages it is. It's got, I remember now it's different colors. Let me show you. Let me get that open. We've got a pink foil. And then a hot pink. And then a red. That's that's fantastic to get those. And then we've got pink glitter. And then red glitter. Isn't that nice? I couldn't believe. And another red glitter. I couldn't believe those were still in this book glitter paper you know everybody uses up their glitter paper <laughs> and this one isn't that pretty very pretty there were two of those also and then look this one I love 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 look at that isn't that isn't that adorable yes I can see that making a pretty pocket letter I sure can when you have, um, when you're making pocket letters and you like to mix and match, here's the little one. You don't really need a 12 by 12 sheet because you, if you, you're going to just cut up a lot of little pieces out of it and then you feel like, mm, I should have used the whole paper. And I love this one with the little birds and their, um, the hearts are, some of the hearts are embossed. Not all of them, but some of them. I think the red ones are. The red hearts are embossed on this one. And, uh, but 
you know, we don't, uh, you wouldn't feel, look at that one white one. Not pretty. No, it's blue. It's a little blue, blue blur bird. And this little bird has a, a letter in its mouth. Um, uh, we don't feel bad, you know, when we're using six by six papers because you can use a whole bunch of six by six papers and, you know, not feel bad about it. And this one is a Christmas and it's Kringle and Company and it's made by American Crafts. And here is a look at the papers. And that, then here's a look at the rest of the papers. And it's very nice. It is very nice as well. And it's it's a full full book. You know, it's got a few pages missing, but I'm gonna try to show you these without going through. I love that one. That one's so cute. Whoops. And that one is so pretty. With the holly berries. And they've got the wreaths. Isn't that pretty? Trees. Oh, let's see if there was anything else in there that we needed to see. That's not this. It's just stripes and chevrons, so I think we're good. I love this one with the poinsettias. And it's got some more back here that I thought were unusual. Um, this one looks like bingo cards, but I know there's something else. There's another name for that, and I can't remember what it is for that that card. Oh, I think it's a game they played in the casinos, and I just cannot remember it. Oh, well. I love this one with the little bitty tiny bow, uh, presents with the bows. Isn't that awesome? And then there's this paper that I think is um, really neat. And it says, uh, where was it? Chris, Chris, uh, I can't talk. Chris Kringle. And then underneath it, it says Santa Claus. <laughs> and it's uh, like uh, postage. I mean, not postage, but like um, his letterhead. <laughs> it's stationary. I couldn't think of what it was called. Okay. And there was this other little <clears throat> book in here that had uh, sayings. And it had a few pieces of paper. And then it had, um, you know, more sayings in it. And these are really, really neat. These will be good for um, using for embellishing see those those are gold and black and white and I love the camera and there were two pages of those these pages are also double-sided and so you can see the other side looks like that and I didn't look we've got um, this is the, the back side of one of them the lines on the other and then we've got this one, and this one, and this one. So, really neat book. <clears throat> so, I would like to say a big, big thank you to Barbara Brown for uh, granting my wish and sending me something that I really needed and really wanted. And um, I think what Crafty Lori is doing is a wonderful thing. It gives us a chance to, um, you know, trade uh, something that we're tired of using for something that we want to use. And uh, it keeps everybody's, you know, keeps everybody's craft ideas running because we're not just sitting around wishing that we could go to um, Michael's or Hobby Lobby as long as we've got wishes. <laughs> we have uh, packages coming in, so... Um, thank you again, and, uh, I'm going to cut this short, and believe it or not, get one under 10 minutes, and I will talk to you guys later. Take care, and lots of love. Bye.